Hello everyone, my name is Poom, I am a 5 year challenger support main and today I will sho be showing to you guys the strength of Rakan. I will be going in depth on how to use his Q effectively to really maximize your lane uh, efficiency. Basically, Rakan kind of sucks at um, early laning, right? He, do, he can't really go in, his cooldowns are super low, or super high, sorry. Like his W is a 16 second cooldown. If you compare that to Leona, which her E is like uh, like a 8, eight second and like her Q is like a 5 second cooldown. Rakan really struggles to find those uh, engages and, and really like he wants to play for level 3 and then he wants to play for level 6, right? He really shines when you have his ultimate, when you can combo. So... When you play Rakan, you do want to just poke them out. So you want to basically use your Q, you want to use your W, and you want to slowly go in multiple times. You want to go W in, auto Q, and then run away, right? You want to use your E away, and then you want to do that like two to three times. And then afterwards, on the four or the fifth time, you will probably be able to find an all in. So I will also show you guys that with these runes, with Glacial Augment, you don't have to go Glacial Augment. But in this type of lane, right, when you're playing versus Blitzcrank, you're playing versus... Um, uh, Jinx, those two champions don't really want to go in, they want to play from a far range. Glacial Augment will really... Oh, I forgot to buy my items. Oh my god. I don't have items. That's a little oopsie, guys. <laughs> but that's okay. They might still feel pressure, you know? Like, See, like they might think I'm in this bush. They don't. They don't know. So, that's okay. My ADC gets solo XP. I'll still show you guys how to win and how to come back from even losing an entire minion wave of XP. Alright? So, they do get prio because they do have a Jinx. Hopefully, we don't get hooked here. So, now I'm back in lane. We're going to wait for the minion wave. We're just going to farm. We missed a lot of minions there. That's a little bit sad. So I'm gonna look for a Q here, maybe on the Blitzcrank when he walks up. Yep. Just so we can heal a little bit. I did miss a lot of XP, so I don't wanna don't wanna miss any more. So here I can go E level two just in case I get hooked. Here, we're just gonna walk up here. We're gonna look for auto Q. Now we got their sweeper out. I don't have W, guys. That's a little sad part right now of this match. But unfortunately, it's just what what we had to do because we were late to lane. You know, sometimes we forget our items, or sometimes let's say we would have died level one, right? So we have to play accordingly. Very cute. Perfect. And you see, we already made their their support use a potion, and he's already pretty low, right? He's already missing 200 HP. So we can maybe look for another potion here. So here I'm going to look for an EW on their Jinx. Nicely done. Uh, super well played by my Zaya there to make a to make a E flash angle. So if here if he walks up for the cannon, I'm just gonna yep, just gonna scare him off a little bit, make him lose this cannon. So here we see their support coming. So I'm gonna try to their Blitzcrank use flash here. So he has no more flash. We'll Give the kill to Zaya. I'm not sure we can really kill this guy, but we might be able to. We do have red buff. No, we cannot. Unfortunately, we are not able to get the kill here. We'll just start my recall so my AD carry can get a fast recall here. Now we're gonna 
we're gonna get our special items, guys. This is a really good recall right here. So because their blood crank has no flash, right? I want to get a dark seal because I believe in myself and I believe in the, my ability to be able to either get kills in my lane or be able to maybe find a good roam. All right. So dark seal will really help you with like punishing the enemy and poking them and really just making your short trades much better. It's going to give you ability power. It's going to give you HP. I'm right here. So here I'm just going to look for the Blitzcrank here. So I don't have E. Maybe I have to flash here. I do have to flash before the Warwick gets in range. If he goes for me, I will be fine. So now I do need to recall again. The Blitzcrank can look another time mid here. I'm going to ping him to be careful because the Blitzcrank can come here. So I do want to make sure that my team is careful here. And I'm going to go bot. Because our wave is pushing out, I need to go bot here. I'm going to ping that the Blitzcrank can be here. And then I'm on the way. Hopefully he doesn't recall here. Don't really need to recall. Yep, so we see Blitzcrank. Potentially they're on Dragon. So we do have to keep that in mind. So guys, on Rakan at level 4, I do really like putting another point into Q. I do, have, I do like having two points in Q and then maxing W afterwards. So here I'm looking at their, maybe their ADC or their support. Let's see which one's better. Probably their ADC. So here I'm going to look to blow his flash. So he's just dead. Perfect. I'm going to put a point in Q here. Now we're just going to push our lane. And we're going to look to get a plate. This last plate. I'll give it to my AD carry by himself. And I'll charge my recall so, so I can get a so, uh, fast recall. Now we will be getting um, these boots. So guys, on Rakan, you don't necessarily need Merc Treads and you don't necessarily need um, uh, plated steel caps unless you really have to, okay? In my opinion, you will never need plated steel caps, but you might need Merc Treads. Heavy team with like CC, like a lot of stuns, a lot of, of those abilities that can maybe cancel your W or make, make it harder for you to engage. It's really going to affect the way you can play Rakan, right? If you're playing versus like a Lissandra, you know, like a Twisted Fate, those things that they can just instantly stun you and stop you from comboing, it's really painful to, to play versus as Rakan. So Merc Treads will really like make it much easier. Here we're fine. If we get hooked, we're gonna look here. Looking for a W. My Briar ult is coming. Oh, we end up missing, but that's okay. We're gonna kill the Blitzcrank here. Perfect. So see guys, in that moment, we just stay calm. We realize, wait, our Zaya is super strong. Even if the Blitzcrank cooks me here, it's completely useless, right? They can't kill me. They don't have the damage. It's a double longsword jinx. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my Hex Flash and I'm going to maybe look for a W. So it's nothing. What I'm going to I'm gonna do is we want to dive, right? So I'm going to look for maybe a W. I am tanking. Look for a Q. Careful for the Z or Jinx rocket. Yep. Perfect. So now their AD carry is 1 HP. This is a really good trait. But we do have to be careful for... Um, oh, perfect. We got their support flash. Once again. So now we are probably... Oh, their jungler is here. So we have to run here, look for a Q, perfect. So here I do have Ignite, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe Hex Flash, Q Ignite, if he gives me an angle. So he doesn't give me an angle. The jungler is still here, so we want to play with a little bit of respect, but also a little bit of disrespect. If, if, they, give us, if they give me the angle, I will look. So, end up missing. Probably dead here. Yep. Whoa! That was almost sick. 
we're gonna sell our last um, minion dematerializer and we're gonna get a glacial buckler because I have enough gold, right? It's better than just finishing my Kindle gem, it's just a 50 more HP. But now I get um, this entire one with armor, haste, a little bit of mana, which might help me spam my abilities a little bit more. I am here, it's probably nothing, but maybe my jungler here wants to look. He has no E, so now we're gonna look here. Nicely done. We see their Blitzcrank topside, so now I'm gonna go back to bot side. I'm gonna dive this Jinx, okay? If the Blitzcrank stays top here, I'm killing their AD carry, right? Their AD carry is the most important person to make sure he falls behind. So here I'm gonna control it, and I'm looking here. So we got his flash, heal our AD carry. Now we want to walk up, right? Whoa, everyone's tell. What the hell happened to this Jinx? So uh, now we probably need to push one more wave and then recall, right? After the tower, you push always, usually push one more wave and then you look for a recall. So we're gonna W. He's probably dead because he got hooked. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Guys, if you guys have any questions related to Rakan, what to build, what to max, feel free to ask in the comments, okay? I will reply. So now we know their Jinx has no flash. Oh, I'm not moving. Their Jinx has no flash, their support has no flash. So now in my next ultimate, we are looking to kill them, right? We might be able to dive them mid 2v2. We might be able to do those things. So we want to keep an eye out, okay? We really want to punish the people who have no flash when you're playing Rakan, you want to punish them. Every time you have ultimate, you look for a kill, right? So we see their Jinx. I'm going to hit the plant towards mid so we are feeling safe when we're hitting the tower. And I'm going to get deep vision on the bot side. The next objective will be the the grubs in 25 seconds. So after the dragon here, I'm just going to hover my AD carry here. I'm looking at my AD carry here. I have R. I need to peel need to hit. block the hook in case it comes boom so my briar is gonna get the kill here looking for a W okay nicely done there so we will get the full tower the grubs will expire so we will just recall, right? We don't want to play for the grubs here. I'm going to put a ward in mid lane. I'm going to charge my recall. And now we're coming back on map and we're going to play for the... For the Rift Herald, for the top tier one. That's our next objective. And guys, when you are playing uh, Rakan, Celestial Opposition right now, in my opinion, is the best support item. Um, the nerf to Solstice Slay, right? And the, just the changes to the other items in general, um, it, it's just better to have this one, right? It really combos really well with your champion. Um, it makes you more tanky, which is basically what Rakan needs, right? You don't need damage, you just need tankiness because the champion will just be super OP, especially in team fights. Oh, so their support's a little bit trolling. All right, we get his flash. Now we're helping our top laner here. All right. So I do have ulti. So now I'm gonna maybe look to kill their Jinx here. Alright, if their Jinx steps up too far, I'm gonna ping that I'm on the way. Alright, DK can run at him here. Alright, so we just got his ghost. I can't really reach anyone with ghost. Oh wow, that was a cool that was a cool interaction. That was like a flip into like a push. I'm gonna ping that I'm on the way here. We can look at their blitzcrank. He does have no flash. Oh, he got smited. Yep, I hear you. Well, he has died. I'm gonna try baiting. We have slow on him here. We have a root. I have a W soon. Oh, not in range. Magnet was it up either, was it? If it was up. I'm sorry for not igniting, guys.
So also, another tip, when you are playing Rakan, if you can hit your W first without ulting, you will be able to layer both abilities, right? You W, you knock them up, you wait a little bit, and then you ult. The CC will be much longer than if you just R W, right? So if you are able to do it, do it. If you're not, just start it off with your ult, right? Get, get that movement speed burst, get in range, and then hit your W. So now the support has no flash. We do still want to play for this Rift Herald in this top tier one. We're waiting for our jungler to clear his camps. Yep, he's being on the way. So I'm going to start it. I'm just going to hit it and I'm going to pull it out so that we can we can finish this objective and get it off the map. So guys, if your team ever does Rift Herald right, you want to make sure you hit it. It makes, it makes the Rift Herald die faster and it also gives you this empowered recall. So here, because my Briar um, maybe wants to look for a play here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go deep here. I'm gonna go deep in their jungle, and maybe we'll we'll be able to flank on mid here. Yep. So here, I'm looking here. Maybe we can blow his flash. He's gonna. We're gonna use our flash of our own. We wanna use our W here. I'm fine. So here, we wanna play with the Briar. I have E soon. Maybe we can bait the echo here. Yep, back into our team. Just like that, guys. Sometimes people get really hard baited by... Um, oh. so, whoa, we, got, we missed the Jinx rocket. Sometimes people get really hard baited by the ability, the Rakan abilities, right? They think, oh, I can go on him, and then boom, you can bring him back to your team. Champions like Lee Sin, Maokai support, Maokai jungle, you know, they use their abilities, and then they're like, oh, wait, Rakan's just flying back to his Zaya, right? The range that you get when you play with Zaya and you E, it is extremely far. Look at this range, guys double the amount of range. I don't have E here, so I can't really look at him. So I do want to just defend the dragon here. We're just defending dragon. We're going to get vision. If he walks in, we can look. I do have R here, so I'm going to look at the echo, okay? We're looking at the echo. Echo's our priority target in this fight. We're going to go back to our Zaya. I'm a little squishy, so I'm a bit scared of going in too deep. I'm gonna let my team do the dirty work here. I'm on the way back. I do have my passive shield up now. Maybe I can look for a hex flash. I'm looking. Oh no. He used his flash though. For a kill, that's alright. We're always okay with that, guys. ADC flashing to kill the support. Pfft. Have fun, man. You won't be able to play the next fight when I get an angle on you. The jungler is fully running at us here. Hopefully we can get it. Alright, we got it. So yeah, in that fight, we want to look at the echo, guys. Because the Warwick is no threat, right? If the Warwick ulties my ADC, I'm just going to peel it off. But the echo, on the other hand... He, he does a lot of damage, right? We saw it in the previous fights. He can almost one-shot our carries. So we want to focus the Echo, make him ult the Earth at the beginning of the fight, and then we will win the fight, right? If our carries are not getting hit by the Echo ult and he can't go in, easy win. So that's what happened in that fight. Then that's why I was looking at the, um, the Echo and not the Warwick. Because he has his E, he has a lot of damage reduction. We want to steal the plant from the support here. This is actually good that... He gave me the angle too, because when you always can, you want to steal the plants. The plants are super OP and getting vision control and... So we want to put our Knights Vow on our ADC. There's a ward here, so this means that the Blitzcrank is in this area, in this vicinity. Me getting hooked is totally fine here. We see all of them, right? We see their Echo, we see their Jinx. If they do hook me, I'm totally fine with it. But here, Briar does have R, so we're just going to kill their support here. He has no flash. Oh, hopefully we can kill. Perfect. 
looking maybe at the Briar ultimate. Right, it expired. Or ran out of range, one or the other. So now I do want to try to pressure a dive here. I'm going to use my control ward so they don't see me. Now I'm just hiding here. Doesn't look like an angle. So I'm going to try to link up with my team here. So maybe they see me. There's no one in this bush. We are just clearing it out. And we still want to play for this tier 2, right? No one has to be bot. The bot turret's totally safe. So they end up getting the shutdown. So here maybe we have to help our Kai'Sa, but it looks a little risky. Want to pentakill? I have flash W in two seconds, and he has no flash, right? He flashed on me, guys. Oh, slow him with red buff. Hopefully we can reach. Uh, uh. Ooh, pentakill. We should have. We could have probably gotten this tower, but we can just take our take our camp and recall. We can we can take the small win here. So that sucks. I wasn't able to reach the jinx with my flash W, but. Eh. We got the pentakill at least. We got the pentakill and the Zaya. Alright, so now, next objectives, right? We're super ahead. We wanna pull this Baron, right? We have four items on our AD carry. We wanna we wanna make the game fast paced. We wanna force the enemy to come fight us. With our vision control here in the top side, I'm gonna maybe put one more ward and I'm gonna control ward this Baron. And then we wanna pull this Baron, right? I'm gonna ping my team to come help and we wanna pull the enemy team to come fight us and we really force them to take a bad decision ba uh, basically so here we're going to clear all of their vision here there's their control ward right here so i want to make sure that i clear that one so the support is on the way perfect See, because the enemy team doesn't want to fight us, we get a Baron for free. Because we're so strong, right? Shut down. We see their Warwick bot lane. Maybe we can run it down mid here. Their Warwick's probably going to go for this tower. Their Jinx has no flash. So I'm going to look for an angle here on Jinx if I can. If he gives the range, I'm not going to go, right? I don't want to go too deep. I can't really run at the Jinx. He's going to put his traps down. So instead of going too deep here, what we're going to do is we're going to probably link up with bot lane here. Oh. I'm looking at the Jinx, right? Creating space, right? I'm just slowing them, making sure they die. I have another W. Perfect. Now we want to peel. We just want to make sure the Echo can't go in. Alright, we're going to make space for our AD carry here. Maybe use our W on the Echo. Make it super hard for him to play. we got to be careful for the Echo R here. Be ready for a W maybe. Ah, he's not going to take it. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys uh, learned a lot on Rakan. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good night guys. See you next time.